Earlier this year, the Ruby Preservation Society of Ireland at Whitehead took delivery of around 50 redundant wooden sleepers from Translink. The sleepers have been replaced as part of an upgrade project on the Dargan Bridge in Belfast. They will now see service on the track in the RPSI sidings at Whitehead Railway Museum. A problem arose though because the sleepers have been drilled for modern flat-bottomed rail while the RPSI uses traditional bullhead rail which sits in chairs like these. So it's a GNR chair and uh, must date, well Great Northern finished in 1957 so it must date back to those days. Yeah, oh, it's pretty, I would say Roy's quite right. I yeah. can't imagine those chairs yeah. are from 42. Yeah. As the original holds in the sleeper's right of alignment, the resourceful volunteers of the RPSI site squad devised a solution. They set to and designed a new steel jig, which enables a magnetic drill to be used for drilling the sleepers. This means the new holes are a precise match for the Society's cast iron bullhead chairs, which in turn carry the 60 foot lengths of steel rail. The original uh, track was a flat bottom rail. We are now changing them over to bullhead rail. Now, the bullhead rail has different chairs, so with this rig, which you've just seen, set up to drill the correct spaces for these Great Northern Railway chairs for bullhead rail. But to make sure they're the right distance, five foot three, we made this spacer. See, so that's exactly five foot three. And that means that when these are in position, they're at the correct gauge. The site squad developed a production line, which means the new holes can be drilled and replacement chairs fitted in a matter of minutes. The result is that the redundant sleepers are set for a new life at Whitehead Railway Museum.